What's going on, you guys? Today we're going to be looking at three different apps that can help take your surf fishing to the next level. So we're going to go ahead and open up the first one here. Um, it's called Nautitude. It helps you check out the uh, ties, the waves, fishing activity, wind, surf level, all kinds of stuff. I really enjoy this. I have this set for uh, Kings Bay right now because that's where I was fishing. Uh, but you can do anywhere. I would just do Jacksonville Beach. So this is today. If you look at it right off the bat, it gives you a bunch of information. High tide, low tide, all things like that. So it looks like we are at the pinnacle of high tide right now, 6.53. And oh no, we were like eight minutes away. So we're almost to high tide. Um, and then I, if I click in the top right here, I can go to activity. Okay, so pretty low activity right now. Hmm, what about the surf slides? So we go to the surf, see, okay, so about foot and a half to three foot. That's pretty good, I think. Um, what about the wind? Wind is important. Okay, so it's not bad, gentle breeze, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, this is super helpful because you can go out um, the dates, like, okay, I'm gonna go fishing, you know, whatever day. And you can click, okay, let's see, I'm gonna go fishing the fifth or whatever, and it'll give you all the information that you need for that day, uh, predictably, to help you fish and plan, okay, it's gonna be windy, so maybe I should go to the intercoastal, or it's gonna be a good day, sunny, a little bit of clouds. Let me go fish the surf, It'll be a good time. You can time it correctly. Awesome app to use, completely free. Um, definitely one that I keep on the uh, on the standby whenever I need it. If at any point you're watching this and you decide, man, this is really good information, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a video and you stay up to date on everything that I'm fishing for. All right, so the second one is an app called Windy. Um, this is super helpful because it'll show you and tell you, okay, how windy is it? Like if I wanted to go down to, we'll say Volano. Okay, I'm gonna go to Volano. How windy is it at Volano? All right, so looks like it's about five knots out of the south, southeast. Um, this is super important because it can help you, okay, you know, where's a good place to fish? If it's gonna be super windy, if I scroll out here, I can see, all right, so all up along the east coast here, it's looking pretty good. However, I can also see whenever uh like how windy it's going to be the next couple days or predictably um when it's going to be super windy i don't have any favorite spots we'll do jacksonville beach again so i can look at this here all right cool so let's say i want to go fishing saturday morning all right so at about five o'clock there should be uh ooh, kind of a strong wind coming out of the north northeast so maybe not a good day to go fishing um, I can also see that Sunday is also going to be pretty strong out of the north northeast. Um, so, you know, might consider going to the intercoastal then because of that. I know the other app also has a wind, but this one is dedicated specifically to wind. It also tells you briefly, uh, you know, like fishing activity, fishing level. Um, so it actually looks like Thursday and Friday are going to be great times to go fishing. So, you know, take all that information, put it together, see how you like it. Um, Let's go to the next app. If you're just getting into fishing and you're deciding, man, I want to get out there, I want to hit the surf, I want to see what this is all about, open up an app called Fish Rules. Um, it's a super helpful app. It helps you identify species, gives you regulations, all kinds of stuff. Um, so open it up, taking a look at it here. We got an option for saltwater, both or freshwater. So, you know, you can just scroll through here and see a lot of the common fish that people catch in the area. It also tells you, you know, when you can and can't take fish. If it's in red, then you can't take it at all. Um, so we'll say, you know, oh, I've got a fish here. I don't know what it is. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I can't find it, I can't find it. Um, oh, somebody said that it was a bluefish. So I'll look up bluefish. And it'll pop right up, I click it. And then it gives you pictures and uh, identifying marks about the fish itself. All right, so I can tell that there's an open season, so I don't have to worry about that. Bag limit is 10, minimum size is 12 inches at the fork. So this is super awesome. Another reason I really like this is I can click log species and it'll automatically start a trip for me. I can add a photo. I can add the weight and length, status, you know, released, observed, harvested, whatever. Log notes. And uh, then it tags the location as well as with the fish ID. I really enjoy this because this helps me keep a comprehensive list of all the fish that I've caught, where I've caught them, how I've caught them. I can add a note, you know, oh, you know, caught on a high low rig um, with, you know, chunk mullet done and then it'll mark where I am what fish I caught everything and then I can click save and I can go back and actually see that in my menu go to trip log it started one for me oh I caught a blue fish right here awesome and then I can see the photo and everything so it's something really cool to keep track of all your trips if you enjoy that um, 
I enjoy that, so it's super helpful. But uh, there you go. There's three apps that will help take your surf fishing to the next level. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you use any apps that's helpful to you and your fishing. Until next time, I'll see you out there.